is Jason Tatum. Today, he is going to be telling us his dream team, and we are going to be building it in NBA 2K23. You guys, our lineup right now is completely empty. Let's go ahead and send it over to Tatum to see who he picks for his first player. Top five players in the league right now. Yeah, who the top five? Uh, so, guys, the interviewer of this first clip right here asked Tatum for his top five players in the NBA currently. And, of course, the first one he named in a little bit of a weird way because he seemed a little bit mad about the question in the first place. But... He did say Braun was the first player that he would name in the NBA in the top five. So we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and pick up LeBron James. And we are going to add him as the first player into Tatum's dream team. So guys, player number one, we're going to have to go ahead and add this Amethyst LeBron James, the current series one from the token market into the team as the starting ball forward for the current moment. One of Tatum's, I guess, favorite players in the NBA. He has a lot of respect for Braun. At the end of the day, it kind of seems like he doesn't like him a lot. But I mean, hey, man, you got to show respect to this man right here. Shout out to LeBron. Let's go ahead and get player two from JT. Ron KD. So boys, the next player we're going to add actually comes from the same clip. One of his top five current players in the NBA. And of course, it is none other than KD. He mentioned KD. I mean, it kind of makes sense because these two actually worked out together during the offseason, even after they played a playoff series against each other, which the Boston Celtics literally swept the Nets. Regardless, Kevin Durant, shout out to KD. Welcome to the squad. Is the starting power forward for the team currently. We're going to switch it up at the end. Stay tuned because this team is going to get a lot crazier and we are going to have a forfeit on the line as well. Steph. Guys, the same interview. This is actually another player he played against in the playoffs that run the Celtics had all the way to the finals. He played against Steph Curry, and he mentioned Steph Curry, so he obviously has a lot of respect for Steph. I mean, a lot of people around the league have respect for that man. So we're going to go ahead, head to the token market, and pick up, of course, Amethyst Steph Curry to add right into the starting point guard for our lineup. James. Oh. So guys, of course, as you guys saw in that clip, to end off his top five list, he actually mentioned two more players, which are going to perfectly complete our starting lineup. We are going to switch things around at the end, so stay tuned. But for now, he did actually mention James Harden and Anthony Davis as his final two players in the league. He said James Harden. I don't know how that man snuck onto the list, but listen, man, we got to respect Tatum's opinion. It is Tatum's video at the end of the day. So first of all, AD welcome to the squad as the starting center for the current team. And of course, James Harden, who is actually a Sapphire this year in 2K. Kind of crazy. But James Harden, welcome to the team as well. So that is the starting lineup right now. Five of Tatum's players already into the team. We got a lot more to go. So let's go ahead and fill out some of this bench and switch things around as we go. Guys, quick context. This next clip that we're going to get some more players from. This actually comes from an interview that he did with Taylor Rooks. And Taylor Rooks was basically naming, you know, Tatum's favorite players growing up. He did mention this in like a very, very old interview. So I couldn't find the original, but she kind of brought it up again and asked him what made them, you know, kind of people he looked up to and what made them some of his favorite players. So we're going to go ahead, head back to Tatum and let's just see who the first player she talks about to him is. Players that you are watching on YouTube. So I'm going to list them. You tell me what you got from that player, some moves you like from that player that you tried to incorporate. Carmelo Anthony. He's one of my favorite players of all time. So guys, the first player Taylor Rooks actually mentions is Carmelo Anthony, and Tatum actually really likes this player for some reason. Now, he doesn't go too in-depth about, you know, why he likes him, but he, he said he loves his jab step. He did watch him on YouTube growing up. He watched highlights of Melo. He wanted to kind of be like Melo, I guess you could say, and I could kind of see a little bit of Melo in Tatum. I mean, not really the same, but... He did take a few things like that jab step that they both have from Carmelo Anthony. And he also said that in the video. So shout out to Tatum for picking a player like Carmelo because Melo actually has a diamond in this game that is really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and bid on this Carmelo Anthony and see if we can win him for our team. T-Mac, you know, just how aggressive he was attacking the basket. If he never got hurt, he really, really, really would have been special. So guys, the next player he actually put on his list is Tracy McGrady. Now, unfortunately, T-Mac does not have a card in 2K yet this year. So, I mean, we're not going to be able to add him into the team, but... Regardless, I thought you guys would want to know that T-Mac was one of, uh, you know, Tatum's favorites going up. And he also talked about how if T-Mac never got injured, how great he would be. And that is a huge, huge fact. Everybody that watched him knows that. But let's go ahead and head into the next player on the same interview because I know this card right here is in 2K. Paul George. I like how Paul George is really shifty, you know, with the ball. So guys, while we wait for that Carmelo Anthony to end on bid, obviously we went over the fact that we couldn't get Tracy McGrady. But the next player he actually mentioned is a player that is actually in 2K, thankfully. And of course, it is none other than PG. He actually loves his shiftiness. So Tatum actually mentioned that he loves Paul George's shiftiness. And to be honest, PG, when healthy, is one of the best players in the league, the most exciting player in the league to watch, in my opinion, when he's actually healthy. So of course, the next player we got to add, because of Jason Tatum's recommendation, is of course, Paul George. We're going to go ahead and find him. He is a Sapphire as well. We're going to throw him on the bench. Back up, back up small forward, I should say, for LeBron James. Not a bad player to add right there. Let's go ahead and swing it back to Tatum once again. Kevin Durant. KD just really his mid post. And I like how he, he stole the move from Dirk. Kobe Bryant. <laughs> uh, everything. I love everything about Kobe. Now, guys, these next two players, we actually already have one of them on our team in Kevin Durant that he actually mentioned in the interview. And of course, 
one of these players is not in 2k yet so 2k got to step their game up but kobe bryant is obviously jason tatum's favorite player we all know this i wish i could put him into the lineup but there is no kobe cards in this game unfortunately that i have and that are literally out at all so i mean unfortunately we're not going to be able to add kobe being brian to the team but obviously you guys know jason tatum's favorite player of all time is kobe bryant so i mean hey just want to let you guys know we can't add him but i definitely know he is there now boys we are still waiting for this carmelo to end on bid to add to the team but we are going to go ahead and scoop up the next two players and this is actually mentioned in an article this wasn't actually a video clip but tatum was basically getting interviewed you know this was when robert williams kind of got hurt and he kind of said i might be rob's biggest fan tatum said to reporters after the game which is what he said in the interview and then he said rob and bradley beal are probably my two favorite players so boom two cards to add to the team right there robert williams which is kind of a weird one because i mean it, it makes sense they are teammates but i mean still robert williams isn't really that known but at the end of the day tatum likes him so that is player number one we're gonna add and then of course bradley beal they kind of grew up they're from like the same area so i mean they kind of grew up together i guess you could say in a way i think bradley beal did have a lot of influence on tatum they're very very close friends so we're gonna go ahead and add those two next guys to the team boys we went ahead and won carmelo anthony i went ahead and started him over lebron we're gonna kind of you know move around the lineup at the end of the video but for now carmelo anthony is gonna be our brand new starting small forward of course we can't forget about the brand new additions of you know bradley beal so we're gonna go ahead and throw bradley beal into the lineup as well and for robert williams i gotta make some tokens real quick so let me go ahead and make them and then throw him in the lineup as well and get back to tatum on his next player <laughs> Well guys now that we got robert williams in the lineup we are going to go ahead and add another point guard to the team this actually comes from an article that tatum was interviewed in again a different article completely different and it was actually about kyrie irving so yes the player that we we're going to add is kyrie you guys can see what he said on the screen about kyrie he said he's his favorite player to watch at that time obviously they played together when tatum was young and you know i guess they just formed a bond on the court and off the court so kyrie irving welcome to the team as the backup point guard for tatum's dream team that is what the team is looking like right now it is not looking bad we got three more spots to fill so let's get to it guys the next player in tatum's dream team is of course going to be a celtics legend and of course you guys can see the quote on the screen basically tatum's dad forced him to watch paul pierce highlights because this man was obsessed with watching kobe highlights but uh you know his dad basically said paul pierce wasn't the most athletic but he still used to cook and he basically made him watch it growing up so he kind of looked up to him in a way and of course him playing for boston kind of you know it's kind of a mind-blowing thing you know he looked up to paul pierce in a way playing for boston both of them are going to be celtic legends obviously when it's all said and done so of course we're going to go ahead and pick up diamond paul pierce the silencer card right here this card is trash but we're going to go ahead and spend 36,000 mt on it there we go let's go ahead and add him to the lineup as well boys paul pierce will become our backup four in the lineup there we go the team is looking really really good we got a few diamonds here and there we're not going to start paul pierce because like i said this card is trash but he got to be on the you know dream team i guess for tatum because he did kind of watch him going up so we got two more spots to fill let's get to that real quick let's see who the next player is back to tatum the top 10 greatest players of all time i will say anybody that don't have mike Bron, and kobe in their top five i really have a hard time listening so boys yes there you go you probably already saw the clip but tatum did basically say michael jordan was the best basketball player of all time he called mj the goat he's also been spotted wearing his shirts before the game this was actually before game four i believe against the bucks series so it kind of motivates him i don't know bro everybody you know likes michael jordan you can't hate michael jeffrey jordan but he is the goat at the end of the day so the next player we're gonna add into the team and the second last player that we are gonna throw into the squad is of course michael jordan tatum's goat gotta be in here Honestly, bro, look, you guys can see my MT. We are not looking too great on the MT. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just use Amethyst Jordan because we literally cannot afford this beautiful pink diamond, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Boys, we are going to go ahead and add Michael Jeffrey Jordan into the team. This originally owned beautiful Amethyst MJ. Listen, bro, he gets the job done at the same time. I mean, he basically is a rim runner at the end of the day. So we are going to be using this card as well into the squad. We might make him our starting shooting guard. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and do that right now. James Harden can sit the bench. MJ got to be on the starting lineup with Curry, KD, AD, and Melo, bro. That team is looking really good. And we got one more spot left, and I wonder who it's going to be. Boys, the last player that we're going to add to the team is, of course, Jason Tatum himself. I mean, I don't know why he wasn't on the team to start with. I should have done this a lot earlier. But JT, welcome to the team. I mean, it is obviously his dream team. He wants to be a part of it. He wants to play with these dudes right here. Some of his favorite players, you know, growing up. Some of his favorite players currently, such as Rob Williams. Bradley Beal, one of his favorite players ever is on the team. This team is looking really good. And now comes test time. We got to take this team into a game. Well, boys, what we're going to do, because this team doesn't have much of a bench. The bench is kind of solid, but it's not really too interesting to use. We're going to go ahead and get into a clutch time online game with the best of Tatum's team. So we're going to go ahead and use Curry, Jordan, Melo, Pierce, and AD into the lineup. We're going to throw them into a clutch time lineup and use them in a game. And if we lose the game, this Carmelo Anthony is going for 150K. is going up for 500 MT. So let's see how this goes. Let's jump into it. 
guys we are in the game if we lose this right here we are throwing up carmelo anthony who's going for like 150k up for 500 so i cannot let that happen beautiful find by paul pierce right there tady to get the game started on the right foot boys we're getting paint match listen i don't even care anymore oh my goodness we almost threw it away there i don't care that we're getting paint match we just need buckets Let's see what we can do here i need a screen oh my goodness okay what am i doing let me calm down back to steph i need steph on the ball steph hit him with the spin steph hit that please steph we needed that ad thank you for the putback bro you just saved me i'm not gonna lie all right guys here we go we're down by three bro we need a bucket or something i don't know what we need to do here but we just need to do something to get some points on the board because this kid is getting some stops i see mellow on the cut oh yeah all the way mellow mellow what are we doing i don't know how that didn't get blocked i don't know why this man didn't dunk it but we'll take the points because we just bailed this dude out i'm not gonna lie we should not be losing at all right now but we just bailed him on a three-pointer we fouled him on a three ball we need to calm down i see ad with the cut honestly but i'm taking the two points as quick as possible and we need a three ball from somebody on the court bro everybody on the court right now is playing like garbage mellow i see you mellow please hit that come on bro lebron wasn't even close thank you green light we're only down by two this we only got one free throw to go let's see what we can do here we need some stops we need a stop actually one is enough right here bro we're only down by one no threes no buckets come on bro jordan play some good defense right here okay we're good we're good we're good we're looking good we need a board we need a board please somebody thank you paul pierce come on nine seconds i have a timeout i choose not to use it steph 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 for the win <laughs> steph and curry oh my goodness i don't know why i just took that shot i don't know why i didn't take a timeout but Steph is him. We literally have Diamond Mello on the line and I just took that shot. I don't know if that's a stupid thing or a good thing to do. And oh my goodness, somehow it wasn't a foul. We win. We win the game. The bowl game is ours. We get to keep Carmelo Anthony. Listen, that was hectic. I'll take it. We move. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed me building Jason Tatum's dream team. If you want to see me build LeBron James's dream team, check out this video on the screen right now. I will see you guys in the next video. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'll see you then, man. Peace.